Hi all, so this is a very short video on assisted reproductive technology. I prepare this mainly because this can be asked for as a short note because this is a very upcoming area uh, in uh, medicine. So that is why I've created a very small short note on assisted reproductive technology. So what is assisted reproductive technology? It is basically the technology that is used to achieve pregnancy by different procedures such as ovulation induction artificial insemination as well as in vitro fertilization from a first year mbbs level you need know just the basics about the assisted reproductive technology there are a lot more to it but i think i've stick to the basics so that only that is enough for at the first year mbbs level okay so first we'll see about ovulation induction so ovulation induction or ovarian stimulation is basically you are inducing the ovary to produce more ova okay you are helping the ovary to develop or produce more ova and that is by providing exogenous gonadotropins okay so you give exogenous gonadotropins so that more ovum is developed okay so in this uh, exogenous human chorionic gonadotropin is administered which in turn causes ovulation it is required if the ovaries are not producing ovum normally so that might be because of a decreased uh, FSH and LH level. That is why we have to produce, we have to give them gonadotropin so that the FSH and LH work properly and you've got more ovulation. And the development of follicles is monitored by transvaginal ultrasonography. So the next as a technology and necessary technology is artificial insemination. So how is artificial insemination done? So the first step in artificial insemination is ovarian stimulation itself. We stimulate the ovary make sure that the ovum has developed properly and then we prepare the semen semen is prepared and the semen is introduced into the female genital tract okay so basically you are uh, making the ovum ready and making the sperm ready and then you are in inserting it into the uterine tract so that fertilization will occur naturally okay so in artificial insemination as a deliberate introduction of sperm into the female uterus or cervix by means other than sexual intercourse for the purpose of achieving pregnancy. So the different indications for artificial insemination are any cervical pathology. Okay, there is a cervical pathology if the cervical mucus is thick, the sperm cannot penetrate. Okay, or if that can be due to ejaculation or erection problems, which is hindering the deeper penetration, which in turn is causing a uh, failure of fertilization, or azoospermia or asthenospermia in this what happens is the sperm concentration is less so you have to prepare a uh, semen which is more concentrated and then you introduce it into the uterus okay so that is about artificial insemination next moving on to the very famous in vitro fertilization so how is in vitro fertilization done so here again the first step is ovarian stimulation we make the ovum ready and then you retrieve that ovum right and then you prepare the semen and the fertilization is occurring outside the body okay so the fertilization is done in the lab and then you culture the embryo and once it is a sufficiently cell stage you transfer it into into the endometrium so here in this case the fertilization is occurring outside right and you implant the uh, you do it at the stage of implantation so that is about in vitro fertilization so in in vitro fertilization the fertilization occurs outside the body the embryo develops up to a certain stage outside and then it is inserted into the uterus where implantation occurs so the indications for in vitro fertilization are ovarian failure okay uh, for, that is why we are doing an ovarian stimulation first damage to the fallopian tube so when there is damage to a fallopian tube, natural fertilization cannot occur because normally fertilization occurs in the ample of the fallopian tube, right? Then sterilization done but children are lost. So suppose they've already done the sterilization but they lost the chil children and then in that case also you'll have to do an in vitro fertilization because sometimes the tube might be cut, out, cut open so the natural fertilization will not take place. And again, in case of azoospermia or asthenospermia, you can do an in vitro fertilization also. So these are the different indications for in vitro fertilization. So that's when a question on assisted reproductive technology is asked, you have to write the three. That is, first of all, write about ovarian stimulation, then artificial insemination and 
in vitro fertilization. So there are many other technologies also in assisted reproductive technology, but these are the basics, basic ones that you should know. Okay. So in the description box, I have also inserted a Google form where I have uh, put some multiple choice questions. You can go through them. The questions are based on uh, this uh, infertility and the treatment of infertility. You can answer them and evaluate it for yourself. So that's all. I hope this concept is clear. Thank you.